Next one, UAE and Israel. UAE and Israel peace deal. What does it mean to the economy? How would it benefit UAE? My name is Badr from Dubai. <sighs> UAE as a country is a very smart place. Okay. Yes, it's not perfect. Yes, there are ups and downs. But UAE will absolutely focus on what benefits it the most. It's not looking for war. It's not looking for complications. But then again, it has to make some tough choices. And when you have a partner like United States, who is so manipulative in nature and uh, who puts its demands, it says, either you say yes or fuck off. Uh, UAE doesn't have a choice in that matter. So that is why UAE said yes to Israel. Why? Because Donald Trump and his election was coming up. So UAE evaluating the pros and cons said yes. Now, what are, what is the current benefit to UAE? Yes, it will get technology. It will get arms. It will get uh, US some of US benefits and support. Uh, and yes, it will help the economy. But it's not going to help each and every person in UAE. It's going to impact, let's say, the positive approach will be maybe uh, manufacturers, some. may, But yes, mostly uh, people who are in the... A security cyber division there's been an explosion in that investments israeli investors are coming so those are the areas i see it boosting the most and how do i know this is because i'm actually focused on personal branding for people who are in the intelligence or people in the cyber security some of them uh, i'm not getting everyone one or two okay just to let you know so don't suddenly oh fuck he has underworld no nothing I'm a simple guy, okay? So it will benefit the UAE and UAE is a smart country. It'll do what it needs to survive. So it may not benefit you, but it will uh, help the country overall. That much I can tell you. So what are your views on the upcoming economic crisis by Turkey Tula? Turkey Tula is a very, very, very uh, dedicated viewer and I'd like to give him a shout out. Uh, he is the first to comment, even Blue Sky. First to comment, first to like for... So, yes, thank you for being the supportive uh, guy. Your question is, what are your views on the upcoming economic crisis? There's no upcoming. It's right now. There is a fucking economic crisis right now, and it's one of the worst that has ever happened. What are my views? Survival of the fittest. Be dynamic. Be Do whatever it takes to survive, or you'll not survive. Uh, because it's ruthless. It's really bad, I would tell you that much. Next one, Netflix. Do you watch shows on Netflix? Uh, thank you from Sean Fernandez, Hotel Management Student. I don't have fucking time to even play. I'm Right now I'm playing Diablo. I'm playing Wolfenstein. Uh, I was thinking of playing Civilization. I'm trying Stardew Valley. That's another one. And uh, another game is Doom Eternal. Now, even though those are the games I like, you'd be shocked to know I don't even have the time to put it on. I'm not joking. I don't even have the time to switch it on and play five minutes because every single time I get an email, I get a notification, I get a uh, request, I get a client, I get a call, I get my wife calls me or my baby is there or something or another happens. And my priority at the age of 40, first is to make money. Okay. First is to... and. It's not that it's just money. I love what I do. Like this video. I got up at 3 o'clock to make this video. Okay, right now it's 5.30. Uh, I mean, why am I doing it? I'm doing it because I love what I do. So when you love something, uh, you, don't, you don't think of switching it off. So yes, uh, I love this. Uh, but the problem is in 24 hours, you can only sleep so much. You can only eat so much. You can only work so much. So I don't have time for anything else. So. I don't watch Netflix. I don't think I'm ever going to watch Netflix. I do watch some movies that I download from torrents. Uh, I do watch a lot of YouTube stuff. But apart from that, uh, it's just basically that's it. The only series that I watch is Ultimate Fighter or The Apprentice. That's the only series as far as I know. I don't think I've watched anything else apart from that. And I see a few old Hollywood movies which are bestsellers or documentaries. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would recommend you watch this documentary. That is uh, the top documentaries in the world. One was Crossing the Twin Towers on a tightrope. Uh, you need to watch that. Uh, uh, Robert Zach Z Zemek Zekimis, Zemek, whatever his name is, Robert, the director of Castaway. 
Zemix, I think I got his name. Fuck it. Okay, he directed that movie of uh, that guy who is uh, Gordon, Gordon, whatever his name is. He starred in Batman. Um, he's crossing on the tightrope, um, the Twin Towers. And uh, there's another documentary which I really loved. It was Ants on a Shrimp. Ants on a Shrimp. Must watch documentary. Unbelievable. I loved it. Okay, Ants on a Shrimp. Um, I'll try to put the link down below. It's about uh, this chef who is a multi-award winner. I mean, to eat in his restaurant, there's a two-year waiting period. And he is he loves his craft so much. I mean, I was so inspired by that. Uh, when he, after he finish, finishes his kitchen work every day, he literally brings his face to the cutting board and he cleans it that way. Like he brings his... Like, you know, just think I'm I'm cleaning the table. He brings and this is how he cleans. This is how he cleans. And some of these chefs of this, like who have won multiple awards, when they are slicing, they, they literally measure the slice. They measure the slice. And they make sure that the dish looks absolutely similar. Like if they make 500 plates, each one will be similar. Like it'll have the drop exactly the same way. It'll have the accessory exactly the same it'll have the leaf exactly the same the weight will be the same the smell will be the same it's unbelievable how much effort they put into this so watch this um and if you can google search on youtube five star chefs and uh, michelin award winners the obsession and the eye to detail will inspire you to greatness like for me every day ever since i saw that video Every day after I finish my work, I uh, I make sure I clean my setup so well there is no dust because I was inspired by that movie. So uh, I hope this inspires you um, to achieve, you know, kind of greatness. Anyway, I went to digress from the point, but I hope it adds value. So, okay, to answer your question, I don't watch shows on Netflix and I don't have time. <laughs>